Hey everybody, it is sweater weather, y'all. So I'm wearing my fuzzy pumpkin pants in my sweater. Very happy, very excited for a, oh my gosh, Randy prepped up work. And I have so much work to do this morning. And Randy has abandoned me to the upstairs where he's watching, like, TV and hanging out with the dog. So, okay, let's do this. So the kiln has almost completely cooled down. I'm gonna open it up. Anyhow, ooh. Oh, those came out nice. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So there is still quite a bit of heat radiating off of them, but we got some really nice puddling here. And I can't wait to see what those bottom levels look like. Y'all, I bathed like a grown-up adult, and now my hair's all floppy and weird, but that's fine. Um, and I am packaging up orders, and I just shot a tutorial. That's why this big old tripod's in the way. Look at me doing my job. What? But I shot a tutorial on how we, well, package up our orders. <laughs> so, uh, woohoo for getting work done. Breakfast this morning is pan-toasted toast. Uh, bacon steaks, actually, which are like dummy thick. I'm super excited about that. Randy's having scrambled eggs and cheese, and I'm having, let's cut into this because I want to show you guys. My friend Christina makes like the best omelets. Oh, that's so juicy. Um, and there are caramelized mushrooms and onions and spinach and mozzarella cheese all in here. And I know that this does not look, does not look like the cooking channel. But it's delicious, I promise you. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is how they look after going through a cycle in the kiln. The kiln firing schedule will be down in the video description, as well as information about my kiln specifically. Um, I really love how these came out. I think they, they came out very pretty. So we will get you more up-close looks after we get them... Uh, off of the <clears throat> kiln shelf we put them into that bowl of water and then we take them into the kitchen and get them all scrubbed up and cleaned so being really careful to not stir up the uh, cooked kiln shelf powder uh, Randy is plopping them <laughs> into the They're water gonna break they need to break now I know we are not delicate with our glasswork, for certain. I remember when I used to care. <laughs> Guys, so we just had a fantastic live stream where I only ranted about ding-dongs, like, a bit, apparently. Um, what do you mean, apparently? Go watch the last five minutes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Randy's unloading the kiln. Then we're going to get the kiln reloaded and get it firing some more. And we're going to fulfill some more uh, subscription boxes this afternoon and probably eat lunch eventually. I really just want like a bucket of donuts, but I'm we'll not gonna do that. Too. Okay. Ooh, look at these purple ones. Oh. These are the ones that were smashed? Yes, these are the ones that you smashed. And I put just a bit of clear on top of them to help it like puddle out and stretch a little bit more. Okay. I really like them. They, they came out great. The only one that I'm worried about is like that one on the tip of it. You see what I mean? Yeah. And the bottom layer, it looks like the only one that didn't like fully reshape was this one here. It's a little squared off on one side instead of being nice and like roundish. But I don't mind that a bit. Ooh. I really like that one. I really like that one. Look at that one. Ah. These are so nice. Do you have a favorite one, Randy? Dirty in the water. Ah. Salisbury steak pizza thing. Would you eat it if it Absolutely. were? Ew. With like tomato sauce and everything? Uh, like on a pizza? Yeah. Hey guys, we just got back from going into town. Randy got me the most amazing gift and uh, I'll show you that in a sec. But um, I wanted to share with you guys this beautiful moonrise, but it is really difficult to, like I wish, 
I wish I could show you guys with my camera what I can see with my eyes because it looks way cooler in person than it does on the camera. But it's just a beautiful moonrise. And I'd even set the camera up to get some like uh, hyper time lapse footage while the you know sun was setting and the moon was rising and the clouds were all wispy and like cotton candy sunset colored. And it didn't take like it got two seconds of footage done and then I guess I was inside so the alarm had gone off to tell me to put my chickens to bed but it was on my phone and it was out here and I didn't realize so the 20 minutes that I just spent inside thinking I was getting some sick footage for you guys uh, was not the case so let's go ahead and show you guys what Randy got me so I don't know if this was a late birthday present or an early Christmas present but uh Randy got me a keyboard So I don't actually know how to play the piano, but I'm going to try to get footage uh, that will be included in my daily vlogs for uh, the next year and show you guys uh, my progress in learning how to play the keyboard or the piano. Um, now I, I can already read music, I've played the flute since played the flute since like fifth grade and other you know flute like instruments uh I used to compete in like solo and ensemble solo and ensemble and do like um go to like uh you know like the I don't know I don't even remember what it's called anymore but it was like the best from each school would go to like a state thing and then like a regional thing um but band was like my life in high school um elementary late elementary middle school and high school actually so this is I'm just so excited you guys to be to be learning this and um uh it has weighted keys and it feels like a real piano y'all uh and um I am going to be using the app musician um so let's get started. So I got the kiln loaded over there. Randy helped out with that. And we are both having cereal for dinner at like 11.21. 11.21 at night because we're bums. And uh, Randy's having some fruity pebbles. And I'm not going to lie to you. I stole a bite. They're pretty good. <laughs> but I ended up practicing the piano for like almost an hour. And I think I'm going to practice a little bit more before bed. That way uh, I can make Randy listen to how well I can play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and all that jazz. So uh, <laughs> I will see y'all in tomorrow's vlog. And until then, keep on keeping on. Bye. <laughs>